Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm showing guys how to build my color combination lock. Now, what we need to do is put all our colors in the right order for this door to open up. So my colors are going to be red, light blue, green, orange. Of course, if you're building this, you do not want to be putting your colors above the actual build itself because you don't want people to know your combination. I just did this for the tutorial so I don't forget. So I'm going to need red in this spot, light blue in this spot, green in this spot, and orange in that spot. So all I have to do is click the button around until I get to the red block. So that one's blue. That's not the one we need. Next block is red. That is the one we need. Now you don't have to click it that slow. However, if you keep clicking it really fast, you might overclick it. See, if I go like this, I can go boom. And I can click it again right away and it will go again. But like I said, you don't want to overclick it because then you'll have to go around the whole circle again. So we got light blue there. Next is green. So let's go for the green. Okay, so that one's pink and green as you can see i i set it up so it goes a little bit faster so we don't have to sit here all day until i get to the colors next one is orange so the next one actually should be orange and our door opens up see so now we can go ahead and walk inside and now when we want to close the door all we have to do is click this button and then to reopen the door now the reason why i did this with the button right here is in case you want to put a jeb door in here instead of just an iron door or you know maybe one of uh, the 3x3 door or something you could set it up so all you have to do is click this button around until it gets to the glowstone so one two three four five six seven should be getting around to that glowstone soon <laughs> uh, come, on, come on come on there we go see the door opens up and we can go ahead and walk outside and then when we want to close you can just click any one of these buttons and it will close it Boop. <laughs> so there you guys have it that is the color combination lock so let's just start building this thing all right guys so for this build we're going to need a 1 by 14 spacing we're also going to have to dig down three however we do need to dig down four in just one area so make sure you have enough room to dig down four now the reason why i say 1 by 14 is because each individual color block is only going to be one spacing long so you can either have up to two colors for your combination lock only two or you can have up to 15 guys you can go all the way to 15 if you really want to so go from between two to 15 i wouldn't do one because then it wouldn't be a combination lock so two from 15 i'm doing four because i don't know why i just always do four so for each individual line each individual line you're going to need one sticky piston five regular pistons one redstone dust seven redstone torches nine redstone repeaters one button and one piece of sand you're also going to need two redstone torches just for the initial setup you don't need nine i mean you don't need to, uh, nine for every line you only need seven for every line but you need two for the initial setup we're also going to need some blocks of choice i'm going to be using smooth sandstone and quartz and then we're also going to need eight different colors so pick out eight different colors of your choice that you want and one piece of glowstone now this is for only one line guys so every line you're going to need to double up every single item here so let's just start doing this build so once you got your one by 14 spacing and you've dug down your three come to the bottom right here and just put a torch put a repeater coming out of the torch then in front of this repeater you're going to come up four blocks one two three four make sure the fourth block is your block of choice because this is where your button's going to be going next delete these three blocks right here one two three put a sticky piston facing downwards with a block in front of it like so so when we click the button the sticky piston extends down thus putting power to this block and then you'll see what goes on after this <laughs> so i'm actually gonna get rid of this and i'm gonna take out emeralds right here we're gonna use emeralds for the whole entire redstone circuit just for fun so next what we're gonna do is coming out from this block we're gonna come out one more and put a repeater here on one tick delay so now when i click this button the block comes down putting power into that repeater see how power went to it beautiful Next, what we're gonna do is dig down one block right here. This is the only spot we have to dig down, one for four. And then we're gonna put a piston facing upwards with a sand block on top of it. Next, coming out of the sand block, we're gonna put another repeater on one on four ticks delay, I mean. Put a block in front of it. Put a torch coming out of the block. Put a block on top of the on torch, like so. And then coming out of this block, we're gonna put another torch. And the torch should go off because this torch is sending power to this block, thus turning off the torch. Next, put a repeater coming out of the on torch on one tick delay. Put a block in front of the one tick delay repeater. Put a torch coming out of the back side of the block. The torch should go off. Put a repeater coming out of the off torch on one tick delay. Put a block in front of the repeater. Torch on top of the block. Block on top of the torch. Put a torch coming out the side of the block. The torch should go off. Block on top of the torch. This is just gonna be a big torch ladder, guys torch on top of the block block on top of the torch 
Put another torch coming off the side of this block, the torch should go off. Put a torch on top of the block, the torch should go off. Next, what you want to do is put a block above both these off torches. So put a block here and block here. Put a repeater coming out of this block set to one tick delay. And then put a block in front of it, a block down, block in front, block down like that. And then we're going to put a repeater coming out of this block on one tick delay. And then put another repeater coming out of this block on one tick delay. So there should be three repeaters up here. And then you can delete these blocks. It's not needed. And that's it. That's going to be our whole entire circuit for our piston movement. So next, what you want to do is just take out your regular pistons. And then right off this top torch right here that is off from the bottom, we're going to put a piston facing away from our button like that on top of that torch. Then on top of this off torch, we're going to put a piston facing upwards. It has to be a regular piston, not sticky, regular pistons. Then off this off torch, we're going to put a piston facing towards our button like so. And then off this block right here that has this repeater on top of it, we're going to put a piston facing downwards. So that should make our whole entire spiral motion. So if I click this button, it should spiral. See how it spirals all the way around. Do it one more time. Does a whole entire spiral motion. Now what we have to do is just put in our colors. So let's put in our colors. So we can get rid of all this and then take out your eight different colors. So I'm going to take out all eight of my different colors and my glowstone. Now right here in the front is where our uh, color is going to be for our actual input. So we're going to come one block from this top piston right here. We're going to come down two blocks. So one, two, delete this block. And this block right here is going to be our color block. So actually if I take out my uh, blocks of choice and I put quartz right here and right here, this is going to be our, our block of choice. See how it looks like right over here? It looks like that. So that's going to be our color block of choice. So choose your color block wisely, whatever color you want, and put it right there. Next, we're going to come two blocks out from this one right here. So one, two, and then we're going to put our glowstone right here. So let me get rid of this block. We don't need that anymore. And put my glowstone right there. So then delete these two blocks. Delete these two blocks. So your color block for your color block of choice is going to be right there. And then two blocks away from it is going to be our glowstone. Now we're just going to put the rest of our colors in. So the only piston that should have a block in front of it is this one right here. All the other pistons should not have a block in front of it. So coming down from our red block, we're going to put orange, then yellow. You can do whatever colors you want. Green, blue. There should not be a block in front of this. So I'm just going to go right underneath my glowstone and put a block right here. There should not be a block in front of this piston. So just skip a block, delete this block like that, put another block in, and there should not be a block in front of this piston. The only piston that should have a block in front of it is this one right here. So it should look something like that. Next, right here in the middle, so I'm going to get rid of my glow. Uh, actually, we can put all our colors away. Let's put all our colors away. We don't need all these out anymore. And then we're just going to take out all our redstone again. So right, actually, we don't need our sand block either. There we go. <laughs> so right here in the middle, we're going to put two blocks like so. Then going into our glowstone block, we're going to put a repeater on one tick delay. Put a torch behind that repeater. And then coming out on this side, we're going to put another block with some dust right here. The dust is off because when you send power through glowstone, it will not work. You can't, you can't send power through glowstone. So now when I click my button, boop, it should do a rotation. See how it fully rotates. I'll do it again. Boop. And that's how it pretty much works, guys. That's it. So now I'm going to build another one of these very, very fast. So we're just going to do the same exact thing we did over here. So torch. Actually, we don't have to put a torch here anymore. You could put dust here. You could just go like this with dust. That's that's the two initial torches. Like I said, you only need one torch here and you only need one torch up inside there as well. So we're going to put repeater. I'm actually going to eh, let's just put the button too. Why not? So lock button sticky piston block. Then we're going to put repeater on one tick delay. Delete down a block piston sand block. We need our sand block. There it is. Sand block. Repeater on four ticks, block, torch, block, torch, repeater on one tick delay, block, <laughs> torch, repeater on one tick delay, block, torch, block, torch, <laughs> block, torch, block, torch, torch, block, block, <laughs> block, 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 block. Uh, there we go. And then we're going to put repeaters on one tick delay, one tick delay, one tick delay. And then all we have to do is just put in our pistons in like we did the last time. So piston here, piston here, piston here, and a piston here. And then we just got to do our color coded uh, combination. So like I said, that one is red right there. So now you're gonna have to pick your uh, colors out once again. So uh, I did red last time. So this time I guess I'll just do orange. Why not? So I want orange as my front block right here now. 
and then I'm just going to put in my glowstone over here, like that, two blocks away from it with the glowstone, and then just put the rest of your colors in. So I'm going to put red here, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, and black like that. Like I said, no blocks in front of those pistons. Yeah, there's no blocks still in front of them. Make sure you do that. Then we can put all our colors away now, do, 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 do. and then we can take out all our redstone again. So let's take out our redstone stuff. Then right here in the middle, we're going to put two blocks repeater going this way and then behind the repeater we could put dust here now we don't have to put another torch put a block behind it with uh bleh, with dust right there as well and that will create another combination for us and then we could put some uh boop, like that there we go so now if i click this button it should make a nice little rotation see how it makes the full rotation very easily very nice Doo -doo -doo. i just got to remember that one was red <laughs> so red and orange so now what i'm going to do is just skip ahead guys because you should have a full understanding how this works i'm just going to put the other two combinations in right now all right guys and we are back so as you can see i did the same thing again just two more times so all you have to do is just the same exact thing as you can see there is no blocks in front of any of these pistons except for this one and then on the inside all i did was put dust behind each repeater instead of a torch and on this side all i did was put dust behind each repeater here as well instead of a torch so once you got in all your different uh, color combinations you wanted maybe you only did two maybe you did 15 i have no idea but once you get done with every single one come back over here and where this dust is right here this line of dust that should be on depending on if there's glowstone here or not if your glowstone is here then it should be off if there's no glowstone if there's even one piece of glowstone missing then it should be on then off this block right here on well either side if you want to do it from this side or this side it doesn't really matter just put a torch coming off that block right here and that's going to be our input for whatever you want you can open up an iron door with it you can open up a jeb door with it whatever you want to open up with this is what's going to open up when we put in the right combination so all i'm going to do is just put some dust coming outside this torch and then i'm going to put an iron door right here just to show you how it works so let me get out an iron door do, do, do. there they are we're gonna put an iron door right here so once i put my combination in the right way this torch should turn on thus opening up our iron door and then you know what? i'm also going to clean this up a little bit too let's put some blocks right here just to make it look nice there we go so my combination is red orange yellow green i did this in the break too so i wouldn't forget my combination so i gotta press the button until i hit the red one so that's orange so red next one should be orange orange yellow green and our door should open up oh we're not green yet so there we go see how my door opened up red orange yellow green red orange yellow green so when we come back here as you can see all the glowstone is in front of our, our repeaters so no power can go through the glowstone thus turning off the redstone dust turning on this torch and opening up whatever we want here and that's how the whole entire thing works guys that's how it completely works it's that easy to build so then once you are done doing that we can just clean it up a little bit more do to do to do clean it up a bit more there we go now if you want to put a button on the inside like i said if you decide to hook this up to a jeb door and you want your jeb door to close and you want to put a button on the inside over here literally all you have to do is what i do is just right off the last one the last one we make just put power to this right here so actually you know what let's pretend uh let's put our uh bah, 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 bah. let's just do this real quick so this is where our door is going to open up right here this is where our iron door is going to open up yada 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 so then we want our button on the inside so all we have to do is put blocks in front of this like here like that and then right here where this glowstone block is make sure it's open like this just put some blocks right here and do not put a block above here what i usually do is just put a piece of glowstone right above this torch right here that depends on if you have your torch coming off this side of the wall Next, what you're gonna do is just one block away from this glowstone down here. We're gonna come one block away and put a button right now on the inside. Right here. And then all we're gonna have to do is just bring power. Let me get rid of a few of these things and take out some redstone dust and some pistons. All you have to do is just bring power from this button over to this sand block right here. So just put dust down right here next to this sand block. Put a block on top of the dust, a block down, put a repeater going into the block that's above the redstone dust on one tick delay put a block behind the repeater and all we have to do is like i said bring power from this button over to that repeater so just come down from the button like so put some redstone dust here and then just bring it down over to this repeater so all i literally did was just go like this <laughs> i just went like that put a repeater here and then put a block and then another repeater like that so now if i want to close the door from in here all i have to do is go like this 
it will make this turn and it will it will close this door of course i don't have the power going to the door right now so it just stays closed forever and then when we want to open the door literally you're gonna have to click the button every single time until you get back around to the glowstone there has to be glowstone right here for the door to open up from the inside that's if you technically really want to uh close your door from here it's not really much needed though honestly i'd rather just go with an iron door <laughs> and then the door should open up when the glowstone is back into its rightful spot but there you guys go that's how you build a colored combination lock if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos and let me i'm just gonna clean this up a little bit more there we go make it look nicer do, 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 do. <laughs> but that's it guys like i said all you have to do is just hook up anything you want to this input right here this is your input so we'll put anything from this torch into any door you want and it will open it up all right guys peace